Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome everyone to lesson 34, subtraction to 10, lesson three. And in this lesson, we will, uh, I will be showing you how to teach your child column subtraction. And here are the materials you will need. Uh, pencil and paper, or perhaps a whiteboard if, if that's your choice. Uh, subtraction facts to 10. This uh, sheet is one of two practice sheets uh, that we'll be using in conjunction with this lesson. And uh, of course, you can access uh, these at, uh, by going to lesson 34, uh, this lesson in the earlygiftedmanual.com. And let me move this out of the way here. And a pair of decahedra dice. And these are two dies, 10 faceted, there's 10 sides on each one with the numbers zero to nine. So an unusual uh, pair of dice, I guess you say. And we'll be using these uh, to do some dice subtraction. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way here. And I think we could start, the best way to start this lesson would be uh, to show your child something that's very familiar to him. Five minus one equals how many? And of course you can uh, have him read that out. And then you could say to, uh, to him or her, well, there's another way you can write this. And it looks like this, five, minus one equals how many? And um, you could say to your child, we call this column subtraction. And both of these, this and this, say exactly the same thing. And uh, you could actually go through this a few times and, and then perhaps have him read it. Five minus one equals how many, um, and you could, uh, to, to further uh, get him or her used to that, you could come back to our subtraction facts to 10 here and uh, just have uh, her read these off until she can obviously do it. She's very comfortable with reading this new form uh, of subtraction, column subtraction. So, um, Let's, uh, let's look at another one here. Uh, well, let me think. Let's do this one. Six minus three equals how many? And see if your child can write the equivalent over here in uh, column subtraction, and hopefully uh, she'll be able to do it and it'll look like this. Six minus three equals how many? So uh, um, lots of repetition until uh, he or she is very comfortable uh, um, writing this, these out like, like this. And of course, uh, uh, let's uh, actually solve these problems. And at this point, uh, let's say finger counting only, no more number lines or uh, tally marks. So uh, you could uh, 
have your child hold out uh, and, and, and help him or her as much as they need. Five fingers, five, take away one, and have her count how many are left. One, two, three, four. And let's see, let's forget about these and just work in the column form here. Five minus one equals four. How about uh, this one here? Six minus three equals how many? So uh, he can get out six fingers and it says to take away three. One, two, three. And uh, he can count the remainder. One, two, three. Six minus three equals three. So uh, um, d do a lot of those and, and, and actually write them out both ways until uh, your child is, is used to seeing them uh, both ways and use the practice sheets uh, that go along and work on those, the practice sheets that go along with the lesson here. Okay, so um, here's another uh, thing that, uh, that you need to know and uh, not just, I mean, your child needs to know it and you need to know it too, that there are actually names for these numbers. Uh, let me write this out here, this one out. Eight minus five equals how many? Um, and of course, uh, we could figure this out, but I'm just going to write write uh, the difference in, in, in here very quick. Of course, we know that's three. And uh, each of these numbers has a name. This number up here, the larger number, uh, is called the minuend. This number here, uh, the, the smaller of the two, the one that's being taken away from the larger number is called the subtrahend. And finally, this number down here, uh, it's sometimes it's called the remainder, uh, it's called the difference, I like to call it the difference. And of course it's the difference between the two numbers. So even at this early stage, it's, it's good for your child to know this. And it might take a while. I mean, these are kind of, these aren't the simplest words. It might take a while for it to sink in, but uh, good to know. Good to know what all these terms are in this column subtraction form. And um, your child may, may have asked uh, the why do it in columns question in addition, but we'll go through this again. Uh, you know, he or she might say, well, you know, why, why do we have to put these numbers in columns? Well, you can uh, just give him a, 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 an example. You could do this. Let me make some numbers up here. Nine hundred thirty-eight minus six hundred twenty. Four equals how many? And you might kind of make a joke and say, well, you sure wouldn't want to figure this out um, on a number line or your fingers. <laughs> it would be next to impossible. And that's why we put these big numbers uh, in, uh, in column form um, because it's really the only way uh, that we could uh, find the answer, in this case, the difference, and you're just going to have to give them a little teaser and say, well, and down the line I will show you exactly how to do that. So that's uh, column subtraction, and uh, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the lesson, there are two practice sheets that go along uh, with this, uh, and of course, uh, just go to uh, lesson 34 in the early giftedmanual.com to access those. Okay, let's do some dice subtraction. Here are our decahedra dice, uh, digits 0 to 9, no 10s on there, sorry about that. And uh, you probably remember how this works from uh, uh, dice edition. Well, here we go. 
Ooh, we have the same number. That's interesting. So 2 minus 2 equals how many? Um, and actually, as, as I said earlier when we were doing dice addition, this is just a way for your, for your child to get practice with uh, actually writing out uh, these column uh, subtraction equations and solving them. And uh, it's kind of a random number generator, so you never know what you're going to get. Let's try a couple more here. All right. And of course, we're always taking away the smaller number from the larger number. So uh, otherwise, we don't want to get into negative numbers now, obviously. So this one is 9 minus 5 equals how many, and your child can solve that on her fingers, or maybe she knows it already. Wouldn't that be great? So that's dice subtraction, and of course, that's a great way for your child to uh, practice writing out um, this, these uh, subtraction column equations and then solving them. Good practice for her or him.